For our final example, in a week of mag, we're going to be having a look at how the helmet can actually give mag two bonuses simultaneously. The first one of course is super juicing mag with 200% extra power strength and 75% extra power efficiency. Now we're going to be having a look at one of the newer helmet infusibles that is going to turn mag into a tank potentially about as tanky as a Nara's Prime such as the power of tank mag. Here we are in the simulacrum with mag prime. What I'm going to do is I'm going to summon some corrupted heavy gunners. And I'm going to press the number one. And that's it. Now I also have arcane grace installed on this particular mag build, so we're healing on top of it. But I can't heal innately as mag. What I can do on the other hand though, is I can actually produce over shields. So not only do I have shields, I also have some extra health as well. On top of that, I can always use something like Visage Ball if I want to increase the, uh, or rather get myself some extra healing on top of that. So at that point, Visage Ball becomes even more useful. Before it was kind of just a little bit of an extra thing on top of my mag build. And now it is an actual usable, very, very usable rather, survivability mod. So let's have a quick look at the build that we're using with mag. And this is the build that we're using with mag. Now, we're going to be using both redirection and adaptation because that, of course, encourages more survivability. The redirection is not as useful for direct survivability, but we're going to be using that because we're using one of the new helmet abilities known as Parasitic Armor. Parasitic Armor sacrifices shields to reinforce armor for a period of time. This, of course, has a conversion percentage, and that is what's being affected by our power strength. So with that extra 200% power strength, we have a 300% conversion percentage, which, of course, means that we convert all of our shields at a 300% rate. Here's the thing, you don't need to have all your shields available at the present moment in order to get that extra shield into armor percentage. So when we convert 1,110 shields, even when we don't have all 1,110 shields at the present moment, it actually becomes 3,330 armor. So that is what is giving us all of that armor. On top of that, we have some extra duration, some extra efficiency, of course, and of course some range, because some range always goes well with a mag build. The extra duration is coming from constitution and prime continuity, and the range, of course, is coming from stretch. But otherwise, this is a really, really straightforward build. If I had an extra former on this build, especially on the Exilus slot, I would definitely put something like prime short footed instead of handspring that is entirely up to you if you want to go that far but i don't really want to go there because it's going to mess up all of my other mag builds and of course i am using arcane grace on mag unironically and it actually works it's actually useful for the very first time in history going arcane grace on mag actually makes a lot of sense so that's pretty much it let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below tank mag tank mag Playing Mag, not as a shield based hero, but actually as a health based Warframe. Potentially stronger than Anaros, potentially stronger than Nidus. The only thing of course is that she doesn't have innate healing, that's why you normally don't go Vitality on Mag. So you're going to have to figure out another way to heal. Arcane Grace, Visage Ball, Hema. There are plenty of weapons that allow you to heal as well, so you can potentially use one of those. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!